We're here with Mike and the dogs. He's going to talk, speak more about writing today. Today's topic is fight choreography in comics. Uh, comics are uh, the most forgiving medium in the world. You can get, get, get away with stuff in comics you couldn't in any other medium. Uh, and for the longest time, uh, when it came to fights and comics, we've become accustomed to the Jack Kirby or Sal Buscema style, where a giant fist waves through the center of the panel and then there are four sets of legs flying off in all directions. Uh, but today, when we're uh, involved in technique, uh, people want to see more intricate fight sequences in comics. I know I always did. And that's why I take special care to choreograph my fight sequences very carefully so that they unfold in a dynamic and realistic manner that the reader can follow. Uh, and by that, I mean, I'll devote several panels to a technique because that's what makes, especially when you're dealing with a martial artist like Batman or the Badger, uh, that's part of what makes the comic unique is to see actual fighting techniques uh, that are both exciting, realistic, and dynamic. Uh, and what that means is it's more than just a, uh, a punch or a kick. Uh, I like to show things like uh, joint locks and takedowns uh, in judo and jujitsu, choke outs. You have to show the technique properly. And you do that by moving from panel to panel. But before you do that, every page must have an establishing shot. And that means a panel showing all the principles involved in the story and their physical relationship to each other in one panel. One thing uh, 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 tyros make a mistake doing, you should never do when you're, when you're writing a fight sequence is to rely on close-ups. Uh, you hold your camera um, in a mid position and you let the actors do the movie. Because that's what makes a great martial arts movie exciting is because we can see the actors actually performing the techniques in real time without tricks and we know they can do that. Uh, and this started with Bruce Lee. Uh, and today I'd say there's, there's no better example of this type of filmmaking than the Ip Man movie starring Donnie Yen. Uh, because every movie that's about a struggle, a physical struggle, uh, be it man on man or army against army, comes down to techniques and tactics. Uh, and if you want to know what I mean, uh, Watch Red Cliff, which will blow your mind. It's a, it's a great movie about uh, the struggle between two Chinese armies, and it's all about tactics. Uh, which brings me to uh, Ridley Scott, uh, a director I admire a lot, and two movies that contrast with each other. The first is Gladiator, which inexplicably ruins all the great action sequences by going in for quick cuts and close-ups, so you never really quite see what's going on. And, and by the time you're, you're saying, what did I just see? You're on to the next scene. I don't know why he did that, but I think it's Gladiator's greatest flaw. And you contrast that with his masterpiece, The Kingdom of Heaven, which is about the Crusades in Jerusalem in the sixth century, where he lavishes uh, his attention on the techniques used by the city, protecting itself from the Arab armies uh, so you know that he can do it. As far as one-on-one -on -one fight scenes, that's not really Scott's thing. Uh, we'll leave that to the martial arts director. So remember, if you're writing a, uh, a, a fight sequence in a comic, get it right. Make sure the, under, the artist understands the techniques. I used to draw these out by hand, and when the artist was close at hand, we'd walk through it together so he understood exactly what he was supposed to draw. Uh, and I think it's always paid off. And if you want to know what I mean, just look at the Bruce Lee comics that we did with Vale Meyerick or the Badger comics. I'm very proud of those action sequences. And uh, I try to bring that detail and knowledge to every action scene that I write. Very good. And isn't Val, doesn't he do martial arts? Vale is a very accomplished martial artist, so, which makes his scenes all the more believable yeah. and dynamic. Yeah, therefore he understands. All right. That is a great tip and just to make your comic books more realistic. And we are planning usually probably Wednesday mornings. We don't know, depends. A lot of times things rotate around these darn dog schedules and when they think things need to happen. So Freddie with Bob, yeah, Freddie, 
they have a schedule of going to the dog park every morning at a certain time. So it's like an alarm clock. So this is what Beggy, uh, Freddie is saying. We need to go to the dog park. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll plan on uh, doing these videos on Wednesday morning. Appreciate it. Have a good one.